Hey everybody, here's the laser cutter engraver that I purchased from eBay. Uh, I think I paid about $2,300 for it. So once you get the crate unloaded from the truck and into your garage or workshop, you can start taking the screws out that hold the top of the crate on and the front panel of the crate. And if you take the front panel off and the top panel off, you can expose the laser cutter and basically be able to pull it out in that way. And you can see the styrofoam pieces that are mounted between the wood crate and the laser cutter itself. And it's packed pretty well. It has styrofoam all the way around and on the bottom to help protect the unit. And it also has a, a plastic cellophane type material on it. And if we carefully open the lid to the machine, we can see what's inside the machine itself. And one of the things you'll notice is the blue exhaust tube that comes with it that connects to the back. And you'll also notice there's uh, some red ribbon that is tied around the XY table. That's to help secure it in transit. If we open the bottom panel, this is where a lot of the accessories are packed. Uh, and some of those accessories include the air pump, the water pump, the rotary table, and there is a bag inside that contains tools and the manual and that sort of thing. Here we look at the, we're looking at the top of the laser as it's packed, and you can see all the uh, packaging, uh, the styrofoam that is sandwiched between the crate and the laser cutter itself. And you can also see that plastic sort of saran wrap type stuff that uh, uh, the laser is wrapped with to try to help keep it from being scratched and, and damaged during transit. Here's another look at the top of the laser. You can see right here is one of the uh, optical mirrors that the laser uses. some more shots of the XY table and the proximity switches and that sort of thing. Here's the accessories that came from the bottom of the unit. Um, here's the rotary table that we're looking at right now. It also includes the air pump, water pump, uh, some rubber tubing for connecting the water and air to the unit as well as that tool bag that includes uh, various tools and the owner's manual as well as the software for the laser itself. I'll just take a quick look inside the blue bag and kind of show you real quick what's in there. Um, basically the cords, uh, some tape, double-sided tape for uh, lining the laser once you get to that point um, and of course the uh, manual and the software that comes with the unit. Here's a look at the back of the machine. You can see the exhaust port at the bottom and also the connections for the water and air lines. There's another panel that's open right now that exposes the uh, power supply for the laser and some of the wiring. If you open the very top panel in the back, and this is where the laser tube is located and you can see the wiring and water cooling lines for the laser. You can also see the uh, first uh, set of optics, the mirror that uh, is in that back section of the laser. And you can see the water cooling tube is, is not really placed in the most optimum of places. You can kind of see it looks like it might have been pinched a little bit uh, from the back panel. So you want to make sure that, that that tube is all the way in and it doesn't get pinched because that would prevent water cooling to go to the laser and probably damage the laser tube. Here's another shot of the back panel, and here's what's inside um, the back. And you can see that uh, there's some styrofoam pieces in here, but there's also quite a bit of dirt that uh, came in the bottom of the unit that looks like it was from uh, 
the actual construction process, uh, little pieces of solder and 